Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. A special sky for the 4th of July. Hey there, Stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, Outreach Astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory, and I'll be your guide to the sky this month on Stargazer. After the grand finale of a glorious fireworks show, stay up a little later to watch the Heavenly Star Show. I'd like to share with you the many beautiful celestial objects you can observe in the warm summer evenings. In fact, you can spend an entire night just on two constellations, Scorpius the Scorpion and Sagittarius the Centaur. These two zodiacal constellations huddle close together in the southern sky and are easy to recognize by their shapes and relatively bright stars. Here, let me show you. Okay, we've got our skies set up for early July looking south at 11 p.m. Scorpius is one of the few constellations that actually looks like its namesake. You won't need to strain your imagination to see a scorpion in these stars. Scorpius is visible above the southern horizon as a long fishhook shape. This curve of stars marks the scorpion's tail and stinger. You need more imagination to see the body, heart, and claws of the scorpion, but the stars in this region tie together so nicely. As the night moves on, the scorpion appears to crawl from left to right or westward along the southern horizon. The brightest star in Scorpius is a beautiful red star named Antares. The brilliant tint of this star has inspired observers for thousands of years. The name Antares means rival of Mars, because it's similar hue to the red planet. But it's nothing like Mars. Antares is one of the largest known stars in the galaxy. Look, the entire orbit of Mars would fit inside of Antares. But even though Antares is 600 light years away, it's still about the same brightness as the much closer and much smaller planet, Mars. With its flickering red light, Antares looks like it's the beating heart of the sinuous scorpion. But watch out for his stinger. At the end of the hook, you'll spy two stars that are almost on top of each other. The brighter one is called Shaula, and the dimmer one is Lisath. Together, they were known as the Sting in ancient Arabic, and are the brightest stars to appear so close together in the night sky. In mythology, Scorpius is the slayer of the mighty Orion. It took just one sting to fell the great hunter and send him to the underworld. Legend has it that Orion never wanted to see that darn scorpion again, and they're never visible at the same time. Orion presides over the winter sky, while Scorpius reigns over the summer. Binocular alert! Just above the sting are two open star clusters, just at the edge of 2020 vision. These clusters are called M6 and M7. The M stands for the inventor of this catalog system, Charles Messier. Even with the weakest binoculars, both clusters make a beautiful sight. M7 is also called Ptolemy's Cluster, since he wrote about the nebulosity of this region almost 2,000 years ago. M6 is nicknamed the Butterfly Cluster because the stars resemble outstretched wings. As the night rolls on and we get closer to midnight, you'll notice someone hunting the Great Scorpion, but it's not Orion out for revenge. Just to the left of the Scorpion stands Sagittarius the Centaur, who has his bow firmly aimed at Antares. Sagittarius is recognizable more as a teapot shape than an archer. The spout of the teapot marks the bow and arrow, and the dipper shape forms his body. Most myths equate Sagittarius with a centaur named Chiron. His prized students included Achilles, Jason, and Hercules, all of whom, I guess, didn't mind being taught by a half-man, half-horse. When you look at Sagittarius, you are looking into the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. If you're observing from an extremely dark sky site, you will see the cloudy band of the Milky Way stretch across the sky from north to south, ending in Sagittarius. This also makes a great place to look with binoculars. The Milky Way is really billions and billions of stars. Better than the best fireworks show, the stars of Scorpius and Sagittarius will make you say ooh and ah all summer long. Remember to keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Skywatcher is also available for $19.95.